Oh, yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Top 912. I'm in the kitchen again, and today the recipe is a sour cream and lemon pound cake. I got a very special guest. My sister came up from Savannah. She requested a cake, so we're going to do our best to give her what she asked for. So the basic ingredients for this cake is I got three cups of sifted flour. That's uncompacted cups. I just took three uncompacted cups, ran them through the sifter. And this is three cups of sifted sugar. I have six eggs. I separated the uh, yolks from the whites and I foamed up the whites. I'm going to fold those into the cake towards the end. I'm going to use the uh, yolks when I'm after I finish creaming the butter and the sugar together. This is one cup I'm sorry, one and a half cups or three sticks of clarified butter. And this right here is one cup of heavy whipping cream that I converted to sour cream. I juiced a half a lemon, mixed that in with the heavy cream, whisk it for about one minute, and you end up with basically a sour cream that has just a little lemon taste to it. If I wasn't going to use it in the cake, I would have just used maybe a quarter of a lemon and juiced it, but since I was going to put it in a lemon cake, I just went ahead and used a whole half a lemon. And this right here is one lemon. I'm going to use the juice of one lemon in the cake. And then I'm going to have one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Don't go with the imitation. Get yourself some pure. It's a lot better. It tastes a lot better. You don't have to use quite as much. One fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm using a whole teaspoon of salt because in my clarified butter it's really it's unsalted at this point. If I was just going to use salted block butter I would only use a half a teaspoon of salt. But since I've got the unsalted butter here I'm going to just double that salt to get that sweet sour taste inside of the cake. And then back here in the back, this is going to be a uh, just a little lemon drizzle. You can see it's not a lot. Again, that's the juice of the other half a lemon that I used for the sour cream. And then I took and zested up the skin of both of the lemons I'm going to use in this recipe. And then I have one half cup of confectionery sugar, and that is compacted. I'm going to start mixing these ingredients together in my little mixer here. And as we go along, I'll kind of keep going through the steps and tell you what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my sugar going. And again, this sugar is pre-sifted. So you don't have to work it in the blender to use the blender to break it up because I use the sifter to do that. So if that's already the case. to put this clarified butter and all of these ingredients are room temperature see the butter is nice and soft and, but it's not melted you don't want melted butter in the cake you just want a nice soft butter that you can work with now if you're going to do a red velvet cake I would go ahead and melt this down but that's another cake for another day Try to get all the goodie out of there. Stuff is not cheap to make. So we're just gonna let this cream for about five minutes. And once it gets to a smooth texture, we'll come back and start adding the next right. ingredients. Alright guys, welcome back. You can see now the uh, butter and the sugar is Pretty well blended to one homogeneous mix. So I'm going to at this point take in four of my egg yolks and get those creamed in. So 
So while that's going, I'll uh, kind of gloss. I gloss over my cake pan before, but I'm just gonna be making this in a regular old black cake pan. And I'm greasing my pan with the Baker's Joy. It's the oil and the flour already combined together. It's a really easy process, and it's a lot cleaner than oiling down your pan and then shaking the flour in there and trying to make sure you cover every square inch. So, you see, I got a nice glossy coat in there. I do take those pans, and before I use them, I'll put it in the oven and let it go for about five minutes to temper it. And that, after I take it out, let it cool. Then I'll put the oil and the flour in there. Now, the eggs are yolks are blended in there pretty well. You see what the consistency of that mix is now. sour cream in there. Again, this is a very easy, quick recipe for sour cream that you can use around the house if you're going to end up having Mexican food or just anything where you're going to be making some sauces that you need a cream in there. I don't keep a lot of sour cream in the house, so I don't use it a lot, but I do keep the uh, heavy whipping cream because I probably use that two or three times a week. Learn how to use ingredients for multiple things. So next, I'm going to start pushing in this flour just a little bit at a time. You don't want to dump it all in there together. Just get some in. Let that mix. gets in, I'll uh, add some more until I get it all in there. Put the salt in a little bit at a time to help it get dispersed better. And I am using uh, sea salt versus your regular table salt. But regular table salt would be just fine here as well. It's just what I had on hand. Let's go for two or three minutes to get it all mixed in and I'm going to take it off the stand and I'll go ahead and fold in the uh, egg whites and then we'll be ready to put it in the pig dish. Alright, so now we're just going to take these egg whites and just kind of fold them in. Just 
one folding in until you don't see any more of the uh, standing egg yolk. I fold it inside out and I fold it outside in. That's it. We can go to the oven and when it passed the uh, toothpick test, we'll take it out, let it cool. We'll mix up that uh, lemon drizzle, glaze it on there, and then we'll give you, uh, let you see what it all looks like in the end. All right, folks. So here we are. The cake cooked in the oven for just a little over an hour at 375 degrees. Now, you know, that temperature is for my house and that time. So that time of temperature is for my oven. It's going to vary for yours. So, you know, just if you don't know where to start, I would start anywhere from 350 to 375 and just let it go for 30 minutes, check it, go for 15 minutes, check it, and then check it every 15 until you're done. So that's the end result of the cake right there. And... I mix that lemon juice and lemon zest together with the confectionery sugar to get my glaze. So this is the end of the cake recipe. I will give you a picture at the end with the uh, glaze drizzled over the cake. But this is the end. Papa Top 912 uh, sour cream lemon pound cake.